America's spy agency, the CIA, has many secrets to keep, but to mark its 75th anniversary, it has unusually opened up a little about its past, inviting a select few to visit its normally undercover museum. Our security correspondent Gordon Carrera was the only international broadcaster to be let in. This is what he saw. One of the most secret organisations in the world offers a rare glimpse inside its operations. To mark its 75th anniversary, the CIA opened the doors to its in-house museum. Closed to the public, we were among a select few given access. Inside this most unusual of museums are exhibits and artefacts marking the CIA's history and its operations right from its foundation soon after World War II through the Cold War and right up to the present day. Among the 600 artefacts on display are a dead rat in which messages were hidden, a pigeon with a spy camera attached and even an exploding martini glass. But as the museum's director showed me on a tour, there are also details of more high-profile operations. And how was this model then used by the agency? This model is used to brief top policymakers, including the president. On display is a scale model of the compound where it was suspected al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden was hiding in 2011. The level of detail gave President Obama the confidence to approve the mission to go after bin Laden, who was killed in the raid. Over here we have our newest artifact in the collection. The most recent exhibit is another model, this time of the compound in Kabul, Afghanistan, where bin Laden's successor, Ayman al-Zawahiri, was killed this July. Some failures, like plots in Cuba and Iraq's missing weapons of mass destruction, do get a mention, although other controversies, like over torture, are downplayed or absent. The intended audience are primarily CIA staff. This museum is not just a, a museum for history's sake. This is an operational museum. We are taking CIA officers, exploring our history, both good and bad. We make sure that our officers understand their history so that they can do a better job in the future. The story begins that Amongst the more bizarre stories are how the CIA worked with an eccentric billionaire to come up with a cover story so that a ship could secretly try and recover a wrecked Soviet submarine. In July of 1974, a gigantic claw goes to the bottom of the ocean, scoops up that submarine and starts bringing it to the surface. That story may now be public, but there are others, officials say, still too classified, even for this secret museum. Gordon Carrera, BBC News, CIA headquarters.